Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, today I'm going to show off one of my new modules and kits. Uh, I will be integrating this over the next week. I also have something similar that uh, acts as a breathalyzer, talking breathalyzer. <laughs> this module has an infrared slot sensor on the top that can be mounted with these two holes. Uh, the device itself can program up to eight messages totaling 40 seconds between all eight messages. You can record and play back at any time. And uh, the main program allows for you to, uh, every time a door opens and the slot sensor is, is uh, no longer breached, it will play a message either in randomly or you can put it uh, in sequential mode using uh, this jumper here. This jumper is labeled random. If you put the, the included header connector over top of the random, uh, two pin header and you turn the power on it will be in random mode so what you do is you mount this to a door and you put a stopper in it so it's constantly breaching and when the door opens it plays a message now you can use this for your business uh, for your office uh, it's, it's just a neat little module there's a little onboard microphone APR 9600 programmed microcontroller eight buttons a button for record and playback so uh, what you have to do is when you power it up you have to have the slot sensor breached and so I'm going to use a ruler for this just for simplicity and uh, from there I'll show you the two different um, modes of operation now I'm not going to make the messages one two three four five six seven eight I've just pre-recorded uh, eight different messages so I'll put it in uh, sequential mode by powering it up without the header connector on the random two pin header and it will play the messages in order so let's give it a try as you can see I have the slot sensor breached by my ruler I'm not going to mount it to my door uh, this is just a preliminary video unfortunately I did some damage to my APR 9600 and I should have socketed it and I didn't I got uh, I didn't wanted to save a so uh, 28 pin socket so I just soldered it into place so the audio quality of this specific one is not the best but it's still not too bad um, the next, uh, when, I, when, I, when I integrate this, I'll have a socket in each APR9600 that goes out with each kit slash module. Uh, will be tested for sound quality prior to shipment. So I'll power it on. As you can see, when it is breached, both the green and red LEDs on the uh, slot sensor are emitting the light. Uh, at this point, I can decide, decide to record and playback. Right now, it is in playback mode because the pro, the, uh, Record LED is not on. If I want to re-record my messages, all I have to do is press the REC slash PLAY for record slash play button. And now I can record my eight different messages by holding down uh, S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6, S7, S8, switch uh, 1 to 8. And I can record my messages. Now, uh, I can do this any time. Uh, unless the, sens the slot sensor is not breached, if the slot sensor is left open, you cannot go into record and playback mode, it will go into playback mode by default. So let's just go back into playback mode by pressing the record play LED again. And what I'll do is I'll just breach, I'll, I'll open the door. This is simulating me opening the door. Five percent off everything. If you need some help, just ask. If you need some help, just ask. Welcome to our shop. Thanks for dropping by. Have a great day. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks for dropping by. Now you can keep it open for as long as you want. It starts scanning in once it's closed. www.engineeringshop.com. Now it helps if you actually have this mounted, putting some pressure on the uh, speaker. Have a great day. So it will just loop back those messages sequentially until, uh, uh, until you know, and, and go back from message one to eight, then back to one, and so forth and so on. So you can mount this device. You can even use an audio amplifier. If you want to open up a pair of computer speakers, you can splice to the uh, speaker output and amplify it. And of course, every again, as I mentioned, every APR ninety six hundred that goes out will have will be will be uh, tested for. Uh, audio quality prior to shipment and that goes in both uh, kit form and assembled form so let's power it down and do it in, and start it up in random mode I've placed the header connector over the two pin header the, the random header and I'll plug my power back in 
both LEDs are emitting light. That's good. So again, I can re-record and play back. I can I can re-record my messages as many times as I want by pressing the record button. As long as that record LED is on, you can. It's in record mode. You can record your different messages. Uh, press it again. We're back in playback mode. So let's uh, open up the sensor. It'll just play uh, those samples randomly. And so forth and so on. Now, uh, nothing will happen as long as the door is open. This is a simulation of the door open. What you would need to do is take a, a little piece of wood or a piece of plastic and uh, glue it slash mount it or mount it to your door so that when your door closes, it safely and uh, obstructs the slot sensor. Now, when the slot sensor is breached, the red LED will come on. When there's no breach, uh, the red LED will be off. So, uh, easy to use. Uh, it's a neat little module, and uh, it won't be overly expensive. I'll be showing off the breathalyzer a little bit later. Uh, my vacation is over, so uh, I've done a lot of integrating this week. Got tons of new kits out, so check us out at engineeringshot.com and electroniclessons.com. Thanks for watching, everyone.